So this movie is such a hard-hitting movie. So much action. I really love the fact that we get to see Chris Hemsworth definitely take it up a notch in terms of action. And with the Russo brothers producing this movie, it just set a whole new level of action that I haven't seen in a movie in a very long time. One of the biggest things that this movie has going for it is the action in this movie that cannot be ignored. It is in your face action, just crazy stunts being done in this movie. And it definitely goes to show you that the director of this movie, who is a stuntman himself, definitely wanted this movie to have the next level action sequences. Sam Hargrave had this vision and how he wanted to create this crazy action shot all in one shot that lasts 12 minutes. You don't see that in modern cinema anymore. I do like Tyler's character in this movie. He's a man working towards absolution. It's truly a heartbreaking story and he's just a broken man and he just opens himself up to Ovi. Tyler and Ovi have this really powerful bond that grows throughout the movie and eventually Tyler sees him as more than just someone to extract and get paid for. He actually sees him as a human and kind of a second chance at life. So I found that to be really profound in this movie, really powerful. Definitely added a lot to Tyler's character. There are some weaker parts of this movie. I found that the plot of this movie isn't very strong. It's an interesting plot, but it's really not developed very well. I feel like the plot's just lost with all the action. You're so focused on the action all the time, you completely forget why Tyler is even there to rescue Obi. There are certain aspects of this movie that are pretty cliched. You know what's going to happen next. It's very predictable. Half the movie was predictable. Half the movie was cliched. The hero coming in to save the day against all these enemies. People are going to die and he will emerge the hero one way or another. He may even have to give his life in order to do that. And you know it's all going to happen because you've seen it a thousand times. It faces some backlash when it comes to how they portray the country of Bangladesh. Many of the natives of Bangladesh say that the city is definitely not what this movie portrays it as. Bangladesh is actually quite a successful place. It's actually been hailed as kind of a miracle how it's been able to rise above certain culture areas and certain economic struggles and really working towards being a really great place to live. It is a little disappointing to see that it's not represented well. But this movie is awesome. I am so excited for Extraction 2, which is dropping in two weeks. The second it hits Netflix, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to review it. So please stay tuned for that. So for Extraction, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 mud flaps. And remember to leave me a thumbs up. And drop in the comments below, what is your favorite mercenary movie? See you next time.